Hello, today I'm going to walk through how I use Firefly to make minor photo edits. Uh, in this example, we were asked to make his shirt one solid color and to remove some of the clutter from the desk behind him. To save time, I will double the speed of the video recording. Uh, Firefly is fast, but not this fast. I'm going to start by selecting one batch of paper, and then I'm going to tell it that I want to remove the papers and make a clean desk. It's gonna think about it for a little bit while it produces an image and it will give me three options. If I don't like them, I select more and it will produce three more. Um, the previous options do not go away, so now I have six to choose from. So once I commit to it, I can keep going. I have found that I get the best results when I give it um, small areas to generate. Um, if I were to select the whole table and say make it clean, it might create a whole new desk. So the smaller area you give it with more specific directions, the more likely you are to get exactly what you're looking for. Firefly does not give you exactly what you want every time. Uh, I have found that when I'm not getting what I want, I will pick the option closest to it and continue editing from there. So for example, these are all pretty cluttered, but the cleanest one is this little black object. So I'll select that one and then I will remove that object. We'll then continue this process until you've kind of got it exactly where you want it. All right, now we're gonna see what it gives me for shirt options. So I'll select the whole problem area, so to speak, and I'll say, make it all the same color shirt, please. And here are my options. Pretty good, but not perfect. So I like the collar on this one, so I'll select this one, and then I'll just go in and remove that little white tag looking thing. Now, I don't love how it generated this pen, and there are a few minor color things I'd like to update, so I'm just gonna download this Firefly image as is and then make those minor updates in Photoshop. So I've got my new image, and in the layer underneath, I have the original. So from here, I'm just gonna make a few minor edits that would be just, in general, easier to do in Photoshop than it would be into Firefly and get it exactly how I want it. And using the original image layer, I can sort of get back the old pen, and not the weird AI generated one. And there we go. We've also found this very helpful for cleaning up building shots, removing things like tires and tanks and cranes and other such equipment. I hope you found this very helpful. Bye.